Okay, so most apps have a normal analytics view in which you can open it and you can see how many followers did you gain in the past three days. You can see the total number and you can see the growth and you can see everything. LinkedIn though is special. It can't do that. It can only let you see day by day and it's, you know, very, very um, special as an experience. It's just not good. So how do we go around that without, you know, getting an extra app, an extra analytics app and paying for those, you know, extra 15 apps just to get a, you know, a number because that would be, you know, silly. So this is a very complicated way, by the way, like if this is way too overcomplicated for most people, I can't recommend it. But if you want to do it this way, you know, it's not too hard, but you know, it has too many steps. So if you want, anyway, so how do we do this? You go to your profile first, because we want to look at the followers. So they're here. So you click on see all analytics, that shows you all your analytics and we click on the followers. This would work with impressions and everything, but we'll do followers because this is the most useful one. I've tested this until 90 days. It doesn't work for 365 because it uses a different type of diagram and it just doesn't show us all of the data, but until 90, you're fine. You click show results and this gives you a very nice chart. You can see my uh, overall activity before, you know, start of September was amazing. I was growing like crazy, growth cracks and everything. But yeah, so uh, here we see this diagram and you know what you can do is you can go here and see, okay, on the June, June 17th, I got zero. And then June 18th, I got zero. And then June 19th, zero. And then June 20th, I got two followers, two. And then you go to June, June 22nd, you got another one. And then you count until the end, which would be very, very annoying because you have to do this 90 times. But we're not insane. We're not gonna repeat something 90 times because that would be crazy. So uh, what you do is you right click anywhere on the page, it doesn't matter, and you click inspect. This works in Chrome and it works in Firefox, it works in any browser. I think Safari may be a little bit different, but it, they have the function there, I just haven't used it uh, too much. So uh, in this, in here, in this thing, you see the HTML code of the of the app. Every website uses HTML, nothing, nothing so scary. If you haven't seen it, it can look daunting, whatever like don't don't worry about it you don't need to understand this uh you only need to know about this little button here this allows you to select any element of the page you you can see that when i cover stuff right now it you know glows in blue that's it so i cover off over the chart because this is what we want to read so click anywhere in the chart it doesn't matter and here you see you see that you get almost on, at the right spot you you have to do another extra click here so here it selects a part of the chart, but this is not the correct part. We want the full thing. The full thing is called an SVG. This is a file format for you know diagrams, charts, illustrations, whatever. And we want to get the whole thing. So we have to click on the line that says SVG something, something, something. It's just one, very difficult to miss. So you just click here. Once you click here, you right click and click edit as HTML. This allows you to just see the whole thing. It's very, very long. It doesn't matter. Once you're in here, you click Command A or Control A if you're on Windows, and then you copy the whole thing. We're gonna use this in Cloud, and Cloud is gonna do a lot of the processing for us. We go to Cloud, and you start in your chat, we paste this, and it appears here as a file. Cloud does this better than ChatGPT. ChatGPT can also do it, but ChatGPT fails sometimes. Uh, I haven't tested the new model because it's super slow and it gets me annoyed, but Cloud works, so why not? You can do this with, like, you, you can do this for free. You don't need to, to have the paid subscription. So you want that for uh, 3.5 though. So you, you here we say, I have this SVG uh, chart that shows my follower growth over the last 90 days, full stop. And then we simply say, can you give me the follower growth day by day? This supposedly, because you know, it has a small tiny chance of failing, uh, should think a little bit and then give us, you know, something like this in whatever format. Sometimes it's going to do an artifact here on the site. Sometimes it's just going to print everything. Whatever the case, it should give you the number of followers that you get. All right. So here it is okay. This isn't perfect because we have some of the data that combines multiple days. So you can see here we have September 1st until 2nd. We have one follower each day. This is very easy to fix. But I want to, I want to, I want Claude to fix it because it's easier. Uh, can you put them in a table? And if you were sm smart enough to put those in the initial prompt, then you wouldn't have to do this as a second step. I just assumed it's going to put them in a table because that's what it did last time. But it's uh, AI, so it's never super consistent, which is fine. 
Cool. Okay, we have a nice pretty table here and it gives us a date and then how many new followers did you get. Now, this is fine, this is great, and what you can do and what most people will do is, is ask, how many followers did I get in Dodo? And it's gonna give us a number. Yes, it's gonna add every number here, and it is 192. I, for a fact, know that there's more than that, there's 200 and something, so I know this is wrong. <laughs> because uh, I was calculating my, my uh, followers for September by hand and I got annoyed and that's why I got this approach. But the, the point is, uh, this is this is wrong. AIs, uh, especially LLMs, specifically LLMs, are very, very bad. So ChatGPT, quote, the chatbots are very bad at addition. They suck at this. The new one can be a little bit better. It, it is actually a lot better. The new ChatGPT is a, is a lot better, but it, it, it's unreliable still. So what you do, is I use an app called Visual Studio Code because it has a very cool feature that I'm going to show you. You, by the way, you can add those, you can technically pay, copy those and paste them in Excel, maybe that will work. This is how I do it. So, you know, maybe maybe this is too complicated for you, but I just click here to copy the whole thing and we open up Visual Studio Code and create a new file. I will paste those here and this is gonna create this thing here, which is, you know, big, you know, ugly, scary, whatever. Now, Visual Studio Code is amazing because it has one very special feature, which is you can select something, you can select something multiple times at the same time. I'll show you. So here, the thing that's uh, exactly the same between every single one of those lines is the year 2024, except for the first two, which we don't need anyway. So I can just delete those and it doesn't matter. So the year 2024 is exactly the same everywhere. Like we have it everywhere. So what we can do is click the shortcut Command, Shift and L and we get, a, instead of selecting it on this line, we select it on every single line. And it, as you can see, we have multiple cursors on every single line. So what that allows us is we can manipulate every single line at the same time, which is exceptionally cool. I Like when you have a, a lot of text to clean up, this takes a little bit of time to get the hang of, but once you get the hang of it, it's, you know, the coolest thing ever. So what I can do, uh, I can click shift and then I can click uh, command left and it's going to select the whole line to restart. And I can just delete that because I don't need this. Now I can click command shift out and the right arrow and this is going to select the 2024, which I also don't need. I can click right arrow again without out this time. It's going to select the space. I can select this and I can select this. I can delete all of those. Then I can click command right and this is going to jump to the end of the line. And if I press backspace, it's going to delete all of those. Then I write the plus sign. So I get a plus everywhere. And then I will click uh, the delete symbol, which is going to delete the new lines. And we get this magical result, which is uh, every number after the other uh, in a very long addition. So we can take this, although uh, I'm not sure if this is the same string, if this is the same text, maybe Claude did this correctly. Yeah, it did. So you can skip all of this and just copy that. Uh, which would be significantly easier. So what I do is I have this app called Raycast, which can do the addition for me and it gives me 201, which is correct. Uh, but also you can use the new notes in the new Apple operating system thingy, which should in theory, yeah, it should also work. So this, this works as well. And I'm guessing you can do just a calculator or online something and that should, uh, no, this one doesn't work, but let me, Jesus Christ, this is horrible. Anyway, if you look for an online calculator, you're probably going to, yeah, this one, yeah, this one should work, yeah. So scientific calculated by Desmos works. But whatever the case, you can pick whatever calculator. You you can do this in uh, apps like Alfred, maybe Spotlight works as well. I haven't used Spotlight in, in many years, so it probably works, but the idea is you just paste this somewhere in a field that can calculate. You'd be surprised how many play in how many places on your computer you can calculate and you just get the result. You can probably just uh, do this and just search it on Google and that should work as well. Yeah, you can just Google that and Google also calculates. So you can just paste it in any search bar and it's gonna work. So yeah, this, this is the correct calculation. So uh, instead of going the my way with the code, which was supposedly way cooler than what you would you can do using Cloud, but with Cloud you can just uh, ask it to to write that for you, and then you can add it manually because if you let Cloud add it, it gives you the wrong number because Cloud can't calculate uh, at all. It's it's bad, but yeah. So this is how you can get this and save yourself the time going day by day. Cool. Anyway.